But I, we got a shocking report on the blood moon. It's in the news and the headlines today, but you mention it. Yes, it was uh, back in 2008 when I was in my prayer closet. Uh, the Lord just came to me and he downloaded to me like Genesis 114. God said he created the sun and the moon. Number one reason was signs. Mm. And so I thought, wow, this is significant. And I went and I looked at eclipses for the last several millennia. And I noticed that in 2014 and 2015, there were going to be these four blood moons falling on Passover and Sukkot two years in a row. And I thought, wow, when is the last time that happened? And I saw it happen in 1967 when Israel captured Jerusalem. In 1949 when they became a nation. The time before that was 1492 when all the Jews were kicked out of Spain. I noticed there were some around when Messiah died. And I thought, okay, these are signs. And so uh, I did some more research, and I thought, oh, my goodness, these are like a railroad train flashing lights. A train is coming. They're warnings. Uh, I never said anything would happen on the day of the eclipse. Uh, now, a lot of people took my stuff and said all kinds of uh, crazy things. Mm -hmm. uh, but I stick, and I still believe totally that these are warnings. Look at the days we've been in for the last several years. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's a, it is incredible. It signaled unbelievable sea change yes. of the world of yes. america we are living in the final days people yep. absolutely we are living right now in the book of revelation right totally. we are there we are the group that's living that many of you may be alive when jesus returns you may be ones to go up with him I i've had know. two dreams where i experienced the the taking up Really? really? In my life, yes. And I really believe that I'm going to be here to see it. Oh, my. Woo! And you're not a kid anymore. No. <laughs> well, no, I mean, you're not as no. old as I am. But, but you, you're, you're... No, I'm 62. Uh, and I've had these dreams back when I was like 19, right after I got it's, saved. It's happening. Yes. Uh, Rick Joyner at the round table, and I said this yesterday, but Rick Joyner warned us mm -hmm. extremely. He said... A revolution is coming. Yes. The second revolutionary war is coming to the United States of America. There will be wars in the streets. There will be fires in our cities. And he warned us that, Mondo, you were in the room. I was in the room. Would but you say that's why I'm right? You are absolutely right. And this morning, read this line right here, Mom. The country. The country is on the verge of civil war. That's headline news right now. From the news. And I'll, I'll tell you what, the blood moon that took place in 1946, what did that indicate? Do you remember? In 1946, are you talking about when uh, Trump was born? Yes. Well, I think that's very significant, too. Again, I think this is a sign, uh, not that Trump was going to be a star as a newborn. Again, this is a sign of what's coming, all right? Uh, and so I But he believe... was born the night of the blood moon, right? In yeah, 1946? The, the, yeah, the day. He, yeah, the, the day. blood moon always comes at night. And yeah. he was born that day where that night was a blood moon. What's the significance of that, do you think? I, I think the significance, again, because God uses these events for signs, that it would be a sign that he would have a pivotal part in these last days. And God knows some of you church people, you need signs. You're, you're looking for signs. Show me a sign, God. Give me a fleece. Give me something. You know what I mean? Yeah. And God gives us those signs. God, why do we have the Bible? It's in detail of what's coming. Yes. That's why God let me go to summer camp for five <laughs> years and yeah. studied the Word of God to realize what is coming next. And that's why you can't trip me up on this stuff. I know what the Bible says. The King is coming. And then there was another blood moon in uh, January in the midpoint, right? This is so significant. I can't tell you how significant this blood moon was that just happened this last January. It's because the day that it fell. It fell on the exact day a year before as well. The year before on the, wasn't on our calendar, but on the biblical calendar, it fell on the 24th day of the month of Shavat. What is so significant? If you remember, it's always in the mouth of two or three witnesses. So here we have these two blood moons one at the beginning of Trump's second year, the other one exactly at the end of Trump's second year. Same day. 
that he was inaugurated two years later. What is significant about this blood moon? Get a load of this. This is going to knock your socks off. <laughs> or, see, fasten your seatbelts. Hold on. Okay. In Revelation 6, it talks about the four horsemen. Yes. And right. the red one is the war. Yeah. It takes peace from the earth. Zechariah 6 is where John got this from. Zechariah 6 talks about the four horsemen. Zechariah 1 speaks specifically about the red horse that you hear about riding in the mulberry trees. Remember that? In Zechariah 1, talk about the red horse and the mulberry trees. It happens on the 24th day of Shavuot. All right? Now, Trump, that blood moon was on the 15th day of Shavuot. Nine months or nine days, I mean, nine days before was this blood moon. And it was exactly at the end of his second year. Now, are you ready? I want you to get this. The Zechariah 1 vision, where Zechariah sees the red horse riding in the mulberry trees, and the month of Shavuot is all about trees. Okay, this is why it's significant. Well, guess what? Zechariah 1, the vision took place at the end of the 70 years of captivity in the second year of Darius. Here we are at the end of the 70th year of Israel becoming a nation in the second year of President Trump. Just like the second year of Darius. And if you go to Haggai 1, you see Haggai 1 also takes place in the second year of Darius. And that is when they're saying we need to rebuild the temple. And they were saying, wow, it's not time to rebuild the temple. And so I really believe that this next year, and the red horse speaks of war. So here I also see from biblical perspective, there's a good chance we will see a major war, civil war, different kinds of wars. That's the focus this next year. But we also might hear an announcement to let the temple be built. I believe the that. Are I believe it could happen. So many signs there yes. to tell us what's yes. going on.